So I'm not saying don't automate at all. Mm-hmm. It's a good yeah. tool, but it's just one tool in quite wide spectrum of yeah. testing. Yeah. Is this camera recording? That one is recording. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Hey friends, you know how it feels when an application or a software that you need just doesn't work. Everybody knows it. And that's why we say that software testing and quality assurance are mental health. Everybody are happier when software works. So the dude sitting next to me, his name is Jani Tuna Haikala. Yes, you know him. An epic champion of testing. Hello, everyone. And here next to me is Antti Niittuvita, a trainer, public speaker and an author. And this is a weekly show where we answer your questions about testing quality assurance or life in general. Welcome to the show. Wow, that was fluent. We are getting better and better. <laughs> we are getting better and better. <laughs> Because this is a weekly show about questions, should we see what the question is? Yeah, yeah. For the, I think it's... It's necessary. Time. It's necessary yeah. to get an answer. That would actually would be awesome if we could just answer a question and then you would like post in the comments what the question was. Let's do a reverse question episode sometimes. Yeah. 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 That's a great idea. At least on our opinion. <laughs> 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 feels, feels like that right yeah. now, but yeah, it remains to be seen. <laughs> yeah. Let's. We may try it. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, reverse question. Episodes. We will put that in the pile yeah. of infinite ideas. Infinite ideas, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what's the question? The question of the week is when should testing be done? When should testing be done? Um there is this like big temptation. Do you feel the temptation to answer the obvious? Yeah, I have a short answer to yeah. this. As er- early as possible and as often as possible. Yeah, and my <laughs> version of it is actually all the time. All the time, early and often. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I think that temptation um, takes us away from the the important takeaway from this question, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, because like, as a tester, that's my first reaction. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's what I've always been taught, test early, test often, like test yeah. all the time and stuff yeah. like that. But, yeah. but when like drilling deeper I mean, into the question. Yeah, I guess the most common is is the earlier you test, mm-hmm. the cheaper it is, the che- uh, easier it is to fix those bugs. Yeah, the earlier you find the yeah, bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. So uh, I think as early as possible is the most common answer to, yeah. to the question. Yeah, that's true. Um, But then it leads to me like like to this like simple answer that's not the tester answer mm-hmm. but that's something else. Um, uh, I, I would say that test when it makes sense to test. Mm-hmm. Test yeah. when it makes sense yeah. to test. And then this would lead you to think about the context yet again. So when would it make sense to test? Um, because like you have a limited amount of resources at yeah. your disposal, yeah. limited amount of time, limited mm-hmm. amount of money, limited amount of people, um, usually limited amount of background information necessary for testing and stuff like that. So understanding what the scope is, is the first thing to do actually, to decide when and how to test. Mm-hmm. And that that's why I would I would say that that test when it makes sense to test that that would be my advice from like this non-test point a, of view. Yeah, yeah, that's a good advice. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will gladly take it. Yeah, yeah. But but but. <laughs> yeah, take it to a direction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, actually, mm, I think my approach is. A bit different this time to, yeah. to, to the question, yeah. and that that relates a lot to what I already said. That often the most common answer is test as early as possible. Mm-hmm. And what I've noticed is that there's sort of one of the big trends in I would say software development is DevOps in one one mm-hmm. way or another. Mm-hmm. Um, quite often when you talk about testing and testing services and things like that with different companies, different people, uh, it's quite common to get an answer along the lines of we are doing DevOps. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't need a tester. We do test automation, mm-hmm. we do, do monitoring. And I've, I've sort of gotten a bit interested about 
DevOps and testing myself. So I've read through a few few books, and it's it, it's actually testing is very rarely, other than test automation, mm-hmm. uh, is very rarely mentioned in those books. Uh, but testing in general is very rarely mentioned, and whenever it is, it's mostly test automation. And there's like in the idea of of test as early as possible, there's a few fallacies that I would like to point out for wow. you to avoid. Okay. So the first you one being... my interest. <laughs> <laughs> nice. For once. Yeah. Uh, Is this the first time <laughs> <what> this happens? <laughs> <laughs> Number 14 yeah, or been, something been, like that. We've so been doing these we videos for five, five yeah. or six years. Yeah. Well, now you spark my interest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the first one being test automation. Mm-hmm. So there's... Um, I mean, uh, throughout the whole, you know, since early early 2000, mm-hmm. when since when I've started working in the, in the yeah. industry, um, test automation has been all, all all these years, two decades, a bit mm-hmm. over than that, that uh, or more than that. Test automation has been sort of the one one of those passwords. Test yeah. automation, this and test auto, auto, automate, automate, automate. But whenever you actually take out a test automation theory book mm. or you know actually a testing theory book uh, every single one of those says you cannot test everything you cannot automate everything there's a lot of different scenarios where automation cannot perform mm-hmm. like a human can so you need manual testing as well still even to this day people a lot of people a lot of teams seem seem to think that automation is enough we we yeah. can automate everything we have a lot of automation automation is enough for yeah, testing. automation solves everything everything so, yeah. Yeah. yeah everything you have yeah so, so so yeah. just please 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 ignore that <laughs> idea <laughs> and understand the fuller scope of, of testing yeah. what what are different areas of testing mm-hmm. And uh, what what else needs to be done than mm-hmm. test automation? I'm not saying don't automate at all. Mm-hmm. It's good yeah. tool, but it's just one tool. Uh, quite wide spectrum of yeah. testing. Yeah, I would say automate things that make sense to. Automate. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So, what's your second point? The second point <laughs> is um, uh, y- relating to to uh, testing as early as possible. You hear yeah. this sentence: shift left. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that yeah. means actually taking something from the right, yeah, and moving it to yeah, the left. Yeah, that implies something. Yeah, yeah, something yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're moving. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, spreading left would be a wiser idea. Yeah, uh, it's not true. not yeah. not taking something from and, the end because and not the same methods work that work in the end. They don't work in the beginning. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So you have to approach it in a different way. Yeah, yeah. And also, if you just shift left, mm-hmm. you move move it to the early. You you'll yeah. just do unit testing, integration testing, but system testing exactly. is forgotten. Yeah. You'll do a lot of automation, yeah, but not true. manual yeah. testing necessarily. Yeah. So, sort of understand that you need testing throughout the process. Uh, it's a good idea, obviously, not to test only just mm-hmm. before releasing the software, but start early, but also perform throughout. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the third one, the third fallacy that I would bring out is mm-hmm. the idea of generalists. Yeah, uh, er- anyone can do testing, and mm-hmm. a- anyone there's sort of the idea of building teams where everyone can do everything. Mm-hmm. And sure, you can have understanding on different areas. Uh, Front end, back end, yeah. uh, testing, whatever it is, UI, um, usability, whatever it is. In terms of testing, I mean, we have both been working in the field for quite some time That's and true. still feel like there's more to learn. So you need to. I am very open to the idea that everyone participates mm-hmm. in testing, and th- that's actually a good idea. Yeah. But then, again, please don't rely on that only. You yeah. need a professional, one professional tester at least in the team or the organization who yeah. understands testing deeply. Yeah, and I would add, add there the, like the concept of ownership. Yeah, because like yeah. like if no one actually owns the responsibility mm-hmm. of testing yeah. and definition yeah. of yeah. done or something like that, yeah. it's it's like it's in an ideal world where you have ha- have lots of resources and time mm-hmm. everything yeah. is done yeah but when things are getting faster and faster and deadlines are approaching 
there is this like temptation mm -hmm. to leave something undone. Yeah. And yeah. and then if testing is not in the ownership of someone yeah. or some yeah. people, yeah. then it will left un it will be yeah. left yeah. undone. Yeah. And, and exactly uh, yeah. having having someone who actually exactly. has ownership yeah. over it and yeah. is a professional who understands the the testing field yeah. uh, deeply. Yeah, that's as yeah. well. You yeah. al almost like you you broke down your answer into this summary. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah, points. yeah. Th yeah. That's, that's the three points. I that's can actually, that's understand. really like like th that's like I would say that's that's a re like this. This is an example of how answer should be like like done, <laughs> like in our episodes. Oh, I did it by an accident <laughs> yeah. then. So, wow. Yeah, that's that's like that's 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 yeah. great. Yeah. Um, and the original question was that when should, should testing, testing be, be done? done? Yeah. And this leads me to one final thought about the question. Um, and, and this is actually something that I've learned from you mm -hmm. to ask the inverse question mm -hmm. as the opposite. So oh, yeah, when, should right. when should testing not be done? Yeah. And that will leave you to some real, really interesting understanding mm -hmm. about yeah. like, yeah. okay, when should testing not be done? Then that would leave you with the answer. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so that 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 would be mine, like like for the last takeaway. Um, so, yeah, testing should be done. Like my quick recap, testing should be done when it makes sense to test. Yeah, yeah. And then the second thing would be you for you to start figuring out when it actually makes sense in terms of our like organizational priorities and our schedule, our resources and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah. so figure it out and then uh, explain it to others when testing should be done based. Uh, on when it makes sense yeah, yeah and then one of the final tools that our third tool would be when testing should not be done and, and if you can answer that you're left with the answer yeah that's very nice <laughs> I, I like your story cool. <laughs> hey guys if you like the episode if you have something to add to the answers or more questions to ask from us please don't hesitate to use the comments Gently hammer the like button, send us some hearts and share the video with someone who may benefit from it. And of course, remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, this way you can help the world of testing and make the world in terms of software a better place because, you know, everybody's just happier when software works. We are into mental health. Yes, we want that. Mental health <laughs> for everyone. For everyone. Take care. Yeah, thank you for joining us and see you next week. Yes, bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.